it's time to look around for clues on how to get through the Stavery Tower. Oh, Sally, I see you're up. I see even though you have your helmet on in your card, in your portrait, you don't. Uh, um, okay. With me close by? Oh my. I'll say. I guess. Oh, Ikarina. I don't even know what to say. And thankfully, Salah returns to our party. Albeit a little bit low on level. Also, new equipment. I happened to get a Dragon Blade for Rooks, which vastly increased his attack power. And Salah's gotta get her new equipment on. Uh, no weapon yet. She'll be the magic user when we need her. We'll eventually get a weapon. Too bad she can't use swords. Instead, she wears a white wool. That can only be worn by the purest of hearts. I don't use white bathrobes. I don't use bathrobes at all. I just use a towel. Oh my. That's not a point. We're going back to Savory Tower. And maybe now with a full party for once. We'll be alright. So back up we go. One quick moment while I refine my map. And go up to 12 floors. But Magma, won't we stop at the second floor? Yes. Power up. Thank goodness. Didn't need these power ups. Theo knows how to petrify all. Which will be extremely useful. Despite him having very low magic points. Oh yes, I must remind you. Sala does have new magic now. She also can cast flea. Very expensive. Defense and Peril, and Attribute 4. Notice it's lower magic points? That's because it's single target only. Shame. But it's good to have a, another person in the party. It's good to have anybody in the party. Parties are always better with more people. Or at least that's what they told me, until the wrong people came along. Like warlocks, but I hit it for a whopping 93 points of damage. My dragon sword is awesome. Sala wishes she had a weapon. Her name's backwards is Hollis. That's a manly man's name. Hey, here's a chance to show off Petrify All. Turns them to stone. You know what it also does? It keeps them in stone. And you can kill them with one hit point of damage. Nope, don't need any special abilities for that. Just tap them and they're dead. I know, heavy on the magic points. But what else are you going to do with those magic points, Dale? Cast Smash 2? No excuses. Get more magic. Everybody else can heal, except Sylph. Sylph has been fairly useless recently. Don't worry, she'll be getting something very nice very soon. A stationary object. Like that. It's better not to ask him that. Lissai. Seriously, do you think you have enough random battles? Nope. <sighs> so many battles. 
picking a lot of Salah's magic points. She is usually doing around 50 to 60 with her attribute 6. But you can't deny it. The experience and gold are a huge jump from chapter 3, which is why I wanted to get out of that chapter as soon as possible. This one, I'm going to be taking a little bit more time on, and maybe even grind. But for right now, if I don't get attacked every single move I make... Where was that? Oh yes, this stupid door. You do? How do you open it? Just save a tower. Royal tears? Does that mean we have to make you cry? I hope not. I guess so. And she apparently restored herself. Hit points and magic point wise. Okay, that's fine with me. But that just leads us to the second half of the second floor. Surely there's not anything else horrible that'll suddenly attack us out of nowhere. Spoiler, there it is. But something that would be really awesome is to the north. That's not what I meant! What was I saying? To the north. A really awesome item. Yes, an actual piece of armor. We've been needing some armor. A shaman robe for Sala. The most powerful robe in the game. What? Really? So let's get her equipped with it. It's not much better than the white robe. I know. You're disappointed, and so am I. I could be wrong on the most powerful robe. No, it's the most powerful robe she can get. And didn't cost me a darn thing, except going through this dangerous place. About 20 steps. Yeah. So let's get to floor 3. And get these enemies out of our way. Seriously. Floor 3. It's a wide open space. I'll give you some wide open problems. Let me tell you good news. There's some fantastic treasure on this floor. So let's get some fantastic treasure by going north first. And in the middle of the northern end is something very awesome. A demon axe for axes! The most powerful axe in the game. Really? With a whopping increase. Now you know why I didn't buy anything for axes. Besides that he's been a jerk to me and held out on the water spear. But over here to the slightly west, there's another nice item. It's always nice to have gold. I've been getting attacked by a lot of single enemies. Those only take 15 seconds when they're alone. Less than 15 seconds. And in the southeast-ish, almost corner-ish, there's more treasure. Five hundred gold. Not as good. That's the next item I'm going to get. 
I can handle two enemies at once. It makes my recording a lot easier. And my editing later. There's a wish wand! That's fantastic! I won't say the most powerful weapon she can get. But it's a nice... item. That would have cost us 10,000 golden tap. Indeed. This also has a special effect when using an item. I wish I knew what that was. Let's find out. So select weapons. Press the wish wand. I know, that's a mistranslation. It says annihilate. Let's try that again. And the effect of water too. Well, that's pretty nice. Doesn't take any magic points. Unlimited uses. Sella's doing about 40 hit points of damage right now, which isn't too bad, really. But her water wand, with this effect of water too, does about. Yeah, depends on what you hit. 20 to 60 on all the monsters on the screen. So it's your choice what you want to use. Against single monsters, a melee attack may be better. Oh look! Demon Axe has an effect! Smash 3! You bet! Axes has become a demon. Oh dear. I don't think that's very good. But we gotta continue on. Through the fourth floor. How exciting. This one's a little bit twisty and turny. So, of course, you all, we, all know that's annoying. But it's pretty much one way. So at least we won't get lost here. This is the best, less maze-like of all the dungeons. Not very many dead ends. Or they may just be slightly long, longer ways. To your goal. Take a quick look there. And we're... I was about to say we're halfway through, but I keep getting annoyed by random enemies. Yes, I did say annoyed. You would be annoyed too. Speaking of annoying things, that time Sala did about 57 damage to Warlock, so she is hitting someone hard. Pretty good for Cleric. I'm sorry, did I say Cleric? I meant Magic User. Uh... Deo? Um, would you keep here explaining why you're not in my cards? What? Oh dear. And I don't know why it's regular music, but now I have to take Daraha and Baraha. Two bosses! Baraha is a pain in the butt. He has 800 hit points. And he's a the element of fire. But... You'll see what I mean by but in a minute. Also, magic shield. Didn't work. Oh well. Ouch. Painful, are they not? So let's call on a level help. And before Axes suddenly gets killed. Remember, you cannot res humans in this game. Let's do some pay. Pay not knowing they can't hurt me for so much now.
And you can keep using specials, one on me all day. I do not care. But what does that other guy cast? That's gonna leave you with a lot of questions and scratching your head. Also, it would have been useful if I used a tip. But I think I'll be okay. Against two bosses? As long as they quit having double turns, I'll be okay. Because I got the power of the Demon Axe. Too bad the Dragon Blade doesn't do anything magically awesome. So let me go ahead and get rid of these guys. That sounds like a good idea. See the guy on the right? He looks like a real fighter with his four arms. And crazy bulldog. He's not drooling. I also think he has wings on his back. I also think he's part snake. Also, I'm glad Salah got healed too. I think it's about time I go in the offense. I also think it's about time for this guy to die! Not so tough now, are you? When you're alone. And you have no friends. Also, wish one. Not as effective as I had hoped it'd be. Axes, on the other hand, is very effective. This guy seems to be a putz when it comes to melee damage, though. He can hit hard, but he can't take it. And there's his magic. Smash! Two. I know, I'm, I'm as disappointed as you are. You think he would have been smart enough to learn Smash 3. Especially since he was posing as Dale. But in the end, he is a pudge. I get a massive amount of experience in gold. And a nice level for once. And Rooks himself finally Learns heal three. Lots of magic. So much level eight. Axis finally learns a heal himself. So now you have something to do with all that extra MP he has. And now I've earned the first spirit again. Dayo! The real Earth Spirit. Thank goodness. And when we return, I'm gonna climb a few more floors, then head back to town, re equip myself, and then head up again. Maybe all in one video. <laughs>